Hey, this is Taylor with the Quick Start Guide to the Plus Edition of the Office Timeline Add-in, walking you through these core topics to help make your Gantt charts and timelines look awesome. So feel free to jump around this video if you like. Creating a new timeline or Gantt chart. To create a new timeline or Gantt chart, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab and select New on the far left. Here in the new dialog box, you have a variety of professionally designed styles and templates to jumpstart your projects. Because this is a brand new graphic, I'm going to navigate to the style section and I'm going to double click the rounded style to get a live preview. I like the rounded style, so I'll select use template, which brings me to the task and milestone dialog box. I'm going to paste in some text and next you need to specify whether your activity is a task or a milestone. Now a task in Office Timeline is defined as an activity with a start date, an end date, and a duration of some kind, minute, hours, weeks, etc., which will show up in your graphic as an activity above or below your time band. On the flip side, if this is a milestone, which this actually is, so I'll choose this milestone flag, a milestone is defined as an activity with the same start and end date and no duration of any kind, which if I come down to the live preview, shows up in your graphic as an activity marker on your time band. This is a milestone, so I'll again choose the milestone flag, and then down below, I'll pick the color orange to match my corporate colors. To set the date for your milestone, you can either manually type your date in or click the calendar. I'll click back to October and select October 1st, which automatically changes the end date to match the start date because this is a milestone. To add my next task, I'm going to click Add a Task or Milestone below. This is going to be Recruit. And it's going to start as a milestone. It will always start as your previous selection. So in this case, this is actually a task. So I'll choose the rounded task shape. And I'm going to change the shape color to be blue. To set the start date, I'll open up the calendar and select October 1st. Then for the end date, I'll click forward through the calendar months to select the March 2nd end date, which the add-in then automatically calculates the 110-day duration for your task. And you can input a percent complete here if you want to. After filling in the rest of your information for your graphic, it might look something like this. And again, you have a live preview of your graphic down below and you can see the key statistics about your graphic up top. When you're finished, simply click create down below. The add-in goes to work for you. Just give it a second and automatically cranks out a fully customizable timeline or Gantt chart that you can easily update and edit as your project progresses. Starting a new template. To start a new Office Timeline template, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab and select the new button on the far left, or you can click the downward facing arrow and select templates to jump to the template section of the new dialog box. Here in the dialog box, you can scroll through a bunch of professionally designed pre-built templates to jumpstart your own projects. I'm going to get started by double clicking the event planning template and click use template, which opens up the task and milestone dialog box pre-populated with a bunch of information that you can now replace with your own project data. To get a preview of what your project looks like, you can hover over the live preview here in the lower right hand corner or simply click create. The add-in goes to work for you. Just give it a second and it cranks out a fully customizable PowerPoint graphic that you can now update and edit any way you see fit. When you're ready to add your own task and milestone data to your graphic, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab and select edit data to open the task and milestone dialog box. Here in the dialog box, you can change the titles of your tasks and milestones. You can pick and click different shapes. I'm going to choose this flag shape for this milestone, and I'm going to change the shape color down below and select orange. You can also change the date for your tasks and milestones by either typing in your own information, or you can use the calendar icon, which allows you to click forwards and backwards by months, or you can use these date drop downs to jump to a specific year or jump to a specific month. Just make sure that if you use these drop downs, that you actually select a date within the calendar so that your date is properly added to your graphic. Once you've finished updating the dialog box with your own project data, simply click save down below and the add-in automatically updates the graphic with all of your own project tasks and milestones. It's that easy. Copying and pasting your data from Excel. Here in PowerPoint, I have an office timeline graphic with just a few milestones, but if I flip over to Excel, I have a bunch of new project tasks and milestones that I want to add to the graphic. To add these tasks and milestones to your graphic, simply select the start date, end date, and the description. If you have notes or a percent complete that you want to bring over from Excel, you'll need to import your graphic, which you can see how to do in some of our other Office Timeline Plus training videos. One other special note here is, notice that my tasks have a start date and an end date, while my milestones have just a single date. That's how you want to properly differentiate your tasks for your milestones when copying data over from Excel. With your data selected, including the start date, end date, and the description, either hit Control c to copy on your keyboard or select Copy up here in the ribbon, flip back to PowerPoint, from the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, select Edit Data, 
And right off the bat here in the task and milestone dialog box, you don't want to just add a task and control V to paste all of your information in. This is not going to work to bring the data in from Excel. So I'm going to delete that. Instead, you want to select the paste data icon up top, click the paste data icon, and all of your information will be properly brought into your graphic. After updating your milestone and task data here in the dialog box, simply click save down below. And the add-in automatically adds all of your task and milestone data to your existing Office Timeline Plus graphic. Changing your date formatting. One of the coolest features of the Office Timeline Plus add-in is you can automatically change your date formatting style without having to jump through a bunch of hoops. To do that, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, open up the style pane. With the style pane open, select the date that you want to format, and you're automatically going to get all of your date formatting options here in the style pane. You have date position, color, font style, and you have your date formatting options, which opens up a dialog box with a variety of different date formatting options you can use in your graphic. If you're not sure what one of these means, simply hover over the date to see the date formatting, D for days, M for months, Y for years. For this date, I'm going to select something a little bit shorter to open up some space in my graphic, and then click Accept. That single date formatting style is applied, but if you want to apply that formatting to all of your other task dates, you have the option to apply just the color, the font style, the position, or the date formatting individually, or you can simply click Apply to All to apply all of your formatting to all of your other task dates. If I want to do the same thing for my milestone dates, I simply select the milestone date. I get my milestone date formatting options. I'm going to open up the date formatting dialog box. Again, I'm going to scroll through and find a date style that I like. I'm again going to choose something a little bit shorter to open up some space in my graphic. I'll click accept. The date formatting style is applied to the single milestone date I selected. I'm then going to click apply to all in the style pane. All of the milestone dates are updated in my graphic and I'll then close out of the style pane. Arranging your milestones to fit more on your time band. Notice in this office timeline graphic, all of my milestones are crowded on the top side of my time band with some of the milestones even overlapping. To change that up, simply select a milestone that you want to reposition, navigate up to the office timeline plus ribbon tab and open up the style pane. Here in the style pane, you have your milestone positioning options for above or below your time band. I'm going to select below, select below, and that milestone is automatically rotated below my time band. And a quick little trick if you have a bunch of these is just holding the shift key, select all of the milestones you want to rotate, Come over to the milestone positioning options, click below, and all those milestones will automatically rotate below your time band. Another cool feature is that you can manually rearrange your milestone titles any way you like. The PowerPoint Smart Guides will help you line them up. Just make sure that after you've made your adjustments, you navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab and click Accept. And the add-in not only locks your milestone titles into place for you, but it also adds connector lines, ensuring that your graphic looks sharp, clean, and professional. Rearranging your tasks. One of the first big decisions you'll have for your graphics is do you want your tasks below or above your time band? To change the task position, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, open up the style pane, select a task, and here in the style pane you have some task positioning options, above or below. Selecting above automatically rotates all of your tasks above your time band, and if that's too high in your slide, just open up the timeline position quick drop down and choose lower, which automatically lowers the graphic for you, and I'll close out of the style pane. You can also rearrange the order of the tasks within your graphic any way you like. To do that, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab and select Edit Data. Here in the Edit Data dialog box, you can click the Start Date or End Date to sort your tasks in a different order. And you can see a live preview of what that looks like down below. You can also sort by milestones and tasks and just click your tasks and drag them around within the dialog box if you want to sort them that way. Another little keyboard shortcut, if you click into a cell and hit the Alt plus up or down arrow key, you can manually resort your tasks that way. And again, you can see what that looks like in the live preview below. When you're happy with your new sort order, simply click Save down below, click Save. The add-in goes to work and automatically sorts your tasks for you. It's that easy. Fitting more tasks on your slide. Here's an office timeline graphic where I have so many tasks that they're beginning to run off the top of my slide. If this ever happens to you, simply select a task, navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, open up the Style pane, and over here in the Style pane under Task Shape, you have both size and spacing options. For this graphic, I'm going to choose Thin for Size and Narrow for Spacing, which automatically updates the task that I have selected. And then to apply the same size and spacing options to all of my other tasks, I can either open up the Apply to All dropdown and choose to just apply the size and spacing to my other tasks, or I can simply click Apply to All to have all of the format adjustments I make, including the size and spacing options, applied to the tasks, allowing me to fit more tasks on my slide. Adding task durations to your graphic. Another cool feature of the Office Timeline Plus add-in is you can add exact task durations to all of your individual tasks. To set that up, simply select a task within your graphic, 
navigate up to the office timeline plus ribbon tab, open up the style pane, and within the style pane, you wanna come and find the task duration options. First off, you have positioning options, so do you want it above, below, left, right, center of your task? I'm gonna choose above, which immediately adds this task duration currently in weeks to my task. To apply it to all of my other tasks in my graphic, I'll simply click apply to all, and there you can see the task duration for all of my individual tasks. The second option you have to work with is your date format, which allows you to format your task durations in minutes, hours, days, etc. Because this project is being calculated in days, I'm gonna select the days formatting style, which applies that formatting to my selected task. To apply that formatting to all of my other tasks, I'll simply click apply to all in the selection pane, and you can see all of those task durations are automatically updated in my graphic. One other task duration option you have here in the task working days is you can specify which days of the week should be calculated as part of your task durations. Because this project is just running Monday through Thursday, I'm going to unselect Friday and click OK. And the add-in automatically recalculates all of the task durations in your graphic. Saving and using your own custom template. Here's an office timeline graphic that I've worked hard to customize that I want to save as a custom template to reuse for my future projects. To do that, simply navigate up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, open up the Template dropdown, and select the plus sign to open up the Save Timeline as Template dialog box. To save your custom template, all you need to do is give it a name. I'll call mine Big Blue and click Save Template, and you can see that your custom template is added right next to the Styles group here in the Office Timeline Graphic new dialog box. Here in the new dialog box, there are a variety of different things you can do with your custom template. You can preview the template. You can use the template to jumpstart a new project. You can import data into your template from one of these accepted programs, or you can choose to delete the template. But the coolest thing about your custom template is, if your colleague or client sends you an Office Timeline graphic that you want to apply your custom template to, it's as easy as navigating up to the Office Timeline Plus ribbon tab, opening up the template drop-down options, finding your template, I'll select Apply Big Blue, and you can see that all of your custom template formatting options are automatically applied to the graphic. Yet another way the Office Timeline Plus add-in saves you a ton of time. On top of that, you can save your team a bunch of time by simply sending them your custom formatting as a PowerPoint slide and instructing them to save it as a template so that they have it on their own machines as well. That way, everyone within your organization using the Office Timeline Plus add-in can quickly create timelines and Gantt charts based on your own specific project formatting and customizations. So that's a quick primer for jumpstarting your graphics with the plus edition of the Office Timeline add-in. If you have any questions about your timeline or Gantt chart, shoot us a note at support at officetimeline.com. And don't forget to check out our other videos on how to get the most out of your office timeline graphics. This is Taylor, and I hope that helps make your Gantt charts and timelines awesome.